In this video I'm going to show you how to install Eclipse. So the first thing you want to do is go to eclipse.org slash downloads and have a look and see what version you want to download. Now there used to be an Eclipse for PHP but that's not there anymore. So the best option is just to download the classic Eclipse. Um, in this case I'm downloading Windows 32-bit but it's also available for Mac and Linux. So I'll just click on the download link here and save it. Now this will take a little while, it's 175 meg, so here's one I prepared earlier. So you can just extract it. I'm going to extract it to my C drive and make a folder called Eclipse to put it in. and that'll take a few minutes to extract now I actually wanted it just straight in C Eclipse not C Eclipse slash Eclipse so I'm just going to cut and paste it back up one level and delete that Eclipse folder okay so now you can just double click on the Eclipse.exe to launch it um, first thing it does is ask you where you want your workspace to be stored I'm going to store mine in C Drive, XAMPP, HTD Docs and within there I'm going to create a folder and we'll call it Joomla Development OK to that And we want to tick the box that say use the default do not ask, otherwise it's going to ask you every time you launch Eclipse. Now, depending, depending on your speed of your processor, it may take a little while to open up Eclipse. It can be a bit slow on older computers. So, once we've got it, um, the first thing we want to do is go into the preferences here and go into workspace and change the default encoding to UTF-8 because that's what Joomla uses and we'll change the new file line delimiter to Unix OK to that now we want to install the PHP uh, side of Eclipse so go to help install new software if you select the Indigo release which should already be in the, the list and then it'll come up showing you all the different add-ons that are available We'll just scroll down, there's one called Programming Languages and within that scroll down and there's one called PHP Development Tools also known as PDT so we'll just tick that box and go next now this will show you all the different things that it's going to install um, there's quite a lot there but yeah we just want it all so that's all good go next you need to accept the license agreement and go finish now this will download uh, the PDT and install it which will take a few minutes depending on your internet connection but I've just sped it up for the video here because I didn't want to bore you okay once it's installed you need to restart Eclipse so we'll just click on restart Okay. Next we want to go into preferences into PHP editor and save actions and tick the box to say remove trailing white space. Okay to that. Now we'll install some software for subversion. We need to add a site to download the, the files for Subversion. Unfortunately Subversion isn't included in Eclipse so we need to add it on. So the website subeclipse.tigris.org slash update underscore 1.8.x OK to that. Then that'll show us everything that's available. Just tick that top level and it'll install everything. OK next. Next accept the license agreement, hit finish and once again this is going to download the files from the internet and install them for us and it'll take a, a few minutes to, to do ok we can say ok to that 
unsigned content message and restart Eclipse again. And we'll just say OK, we don't care if they get a bit of information from our computer. Now, if you go Window Opens Perspective Other, you can change it to the PHP Perspective instead of the default Java one. So this is generally what we'd use for Joomla. Um, at this point, you might want to pin the Eclipse.exe to your Start menu to make it easier to find to start it next time. And now we'll go File Import SVN, check out projects from SVN, and we're going to check out the, the Joomla trunk. Because I've connected this before, it was already in there, but if you haven't connected before, you can just add that Joomla code, slash SVN, slash Joomla, slash development, slash trunk. And we want to check out the trunk. And this will download the, the latest version of Joomla. At this point in time, it's Joomla 1.7. And so we'll just go finish to that. And we want to import this into a PHP project. Okay, next. You need to give it a name. This is the name of the folder it's going to be stored in. So in this case, I'm going to call it Joomla underscore 17. Okay, next. And next. Finish. Okay, to that. Yeah, now this will take a, a few minutes depending on your internet connection. I've just sped it up for the video. And so now we've got the copy of Joomla 1.7. We can just expand that. And you can see all the files there. So now what we want to do is create a database to install this into. So opening up phpMyAdmin and just creating a new database, Joomla underscore 17 in this case. And then I'm going to browse to the site. So because I created my workspace in Joomla underscore development, uh, and then I created a folder Joomla underscore 17, that's where it's put the, the files. So I'm just going to install Joomla, just go through the install process. Because I'm using XAMPP, default username is root, there's no password. And I'll put in the name of the database I created. Skip the FTP. Give the site a name. Now you can whack in your email address and your admin password to log on to the site with. And it's a good idea to install sample data. Okay, next. Now normally you'd remove the installation folder, but because we're using Eclipse, uh, we don't need to do that. So we can just go straight to the admin and have a look at our site log in and there's our Joomla site